Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Recent episodes of Coronation Street have shown viewers that Eliza Woodrow has made the decision to live with her estranged father, which has left Stu Carpenter in a state of heartbreak. On the British soap opera Coronation Street, the character of Stu Carpenter, who is portrayed by Bill Fellows, is likely going to resort to extreme measures in an effort to win back custody of his granddaughter, Eliza Woodrow, Savannah Cunyo. Fans of the ITV soap opera witnessed Eliza's long-lost father Dom Everett, played by Darren Morfitt, make a surprise appearance in her life earlier this year. Her grandfather Stu had a very apparent distaste for his former son-in-law, but the child couldn't have been happier to develop a bond with him. Eliza's disobedience and defiance toward Stu's parenting style increased as she developed a stronger bond with her father, and viewers saw this development unfold. On the other hand, everything came to a head when Stu argued that Dom did not care about her. This prompted Eliza to dash across the street in a rage, where she was then hit by a car. Since then, she has arrived at the conclusion that she will live with her father, despite the fact that Dom has made it abundantly obvious that he does not want his daughter to be with him permanently. When he gave Stu the opportunity to pay him £10,000 to prevent Eliza from staying with him, Stu denied the offer because he was incensed that he would sell his daughter. However, in subsequent scenes, it seems as though Stu may have found another method to win custody of his granddaughter once again. This would be significant because he had previously lost custody. When Eliza arrives to number 6 to retrieve some of her items, Dom tells her that she cannot stay for tea and demands that she take the rest of her belongings instead. Avoid missing out on. Despite having trouble leaving his comfort zone, Strictly's Les Dennis is enjoying the best time. Paul Foreman, who plays the character on Coronation Street, said that the death of the character was a wake-up call. Sarah Platt, a star of the British soap opera Coronation Street, has dropped indications that a villain may be coming back. Now that she has returned from her vacation, Yasmin Metcalf, Shelley King, is able to observe how depressed Stu is as a result of the current predicament. In an effort to put Stu's concerns at ease, she reassures him that Eliza will come back to them after the initial excitement of living with Dom has worn off. Despite the fact that she claims they will have to hold off on making that choice until she is ready to do it on her own since they cannot compel her to do so. Stu takes matters into his own hands and makes the decision to meet with a private investigator by the name of Leslie in order to get some dirt on Dom. Will Stu come upon some evidence that he may use to his advantage in order to win Eliza back? Or will his strategy backfire and cause her to distance herself even further? In other parts of the soap opera, it seems as though the person who was responsible for knocking Eliza over may have been identified. In the midst of Tyrone Dobbs, Alan Halshall, being questioned by the authorities about his movements, the police informed him that his vehicle had been engaged in a hit-and-run incident. In spite of this, he quickly shifted his focus to his mother, Cassie Plummer, played by Claire Sweeney, who has been struggling to overcome her history of substance abuse. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel Street Gossip for more update news.